So how much does a YouTuber make with 50,000 subscribers? Stay tuned. I'm going to be transparent with you guys. Hey, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Come on with me while I do my evening chores. I just got uh, back from work. Yeah, I worked a 12 hour shift. So, I want to share with you guys since I hit a milestone yesterday 50,000 subscribers. I'm going to share with you guys what a YouTuber like me makes per month with 50,000 subscribers without using clickbait. So let's stop and give the rabbit some water and I'll explain some stuff to you. So, my, uh, my YouTube channel has grown quite a bit these last couple of uh, months, but since I started it, I've managed to garner 50,000 subs. Is that a special, uh, oh, an award? No. We don't get a special award until we reach 100,000, uh, where we reach, I think, the silver award. Yeah, 100,000. I'm halfway there. I get the silver award coming up. And uh, since the channel is growing exponentially fast now, I may be to uh, 100,000 in probably two years. Because it's taken me... Uh, since 2013 to get this many. When I first started the YouTube channel, it didn't make much money. It actually took me a year or two years to make enough where they have a payout. When you start AdSensing or partnering with YouTube, you have to earn uh, at least a minimum of $100 to be able to get a payout. And then that first year I got paid out, I finally hit my $100 mark. I got my first payout. But that was like two and a half years into having YouTube. YouTube, interesting. I started collecting $100 about every six months. Then it went to $100 every three months. Then I started growing to $100 every other month. Uh, for a while and it seems like the graph goes up plateaus goes up plateaus goes up plateaus and it all depends on your content you make now I try to make really good content for my YouTube viewers because I'm learning things I'm sharing what I'm learning with my viewers and I think that's what makes you guys come back for more and also, I insisted early on to make my program apolitical, a-religious, honest, and transparent. And those, I think, are a good formula uh, for uh, how, having people come back because they develop a trust in you. Now, like I said in yesterday's episode, I showed a little thing I was messing around with a Bigfoot costume I'm gonna be filming some stuff with that coming up soon but I, I don't do well with clickbait myself when I go on a channel and I see a thumbnail and I see that the thumbnail is wow or even the title is golly and so I go in and look at it and I watch the whole show and nothing about the show had anything to do with the thumbnail or the title. I, when I create a thumbnail and a title, I always create a title 
based on what I actually said from the show. I don't pick a title before I create it. I usually, when, as I'm producing the show, I'm producing it and I'm listening to see what would be a good title for the show, which represents best the show I'm creating. And I always create a um, thumbnail that is actually a screenshot of the actual show of what you guys are going to see. So I, th that way it maintains my integrity, my honesty, and my transparency. When I go to a show and I see that I've been deceived, I won't go back to the show. I know there's a lot of you like that. I will not go back to that channel uh, because their content is, uh, I feel they're not being honest. And I, like many other people, well, if I go to a show like the type of person I am, I want to go learn something. And if they're not going to teach me something, I'm moving on. Now, granted, <clears throat> I do a few shows here and there that are tongue-in-cheek. I, I, I like to be silly once in a while and uh, just be a little bit humorous. It's not all about homesteading. Sometimes it's just living life and having fun and cutting loose. But I try never to deceive you guys. I've had a couple of videos that were, I, when I created them, they were tongue in cheek, but they were born out of frustration also. One show in particular was based in the greenhouse, and I entitled it uh, Mysterious Ghastly Beast. Number one, I did not know what, the, what was destroying my uh, vegetation in the greenhouse. I understood it was just a ghastly little beast, but I put the trail cam out. I discovered what it was. It was a Cascade Mountain Vole or something like that. Anyway, I kept, I, I, I kept the title because I called it a mysterious ghastly beast until I actually found out what it was. It was a vole that I found out much later after some uh, identification from YouTube viewers. Yeah. Wow. That video went viral. Why? It wasn't even one of my best videos. I was just doing it as a, a little bit of a frustration and uh, kind of scratching my head trying to figure out what's going on here. But that, I had no control over that video going viral, which, uh, yeah, leads to how much money my particular YouTube channel is making as a result of a few shows going viral and with some of these shows like uh, how a poor man can buy cheap property out of the gate that went viral it took a year for it to really pick up momentum but oh my gosh has it ever picked up momentum and now between those two videos and my top performing videos which are all related to either Auto mechanics or home improvement, say for instance, one of my top videos on home improvement is building the cement block foundation for the house. There's a, I understand there's a lot of people that are homeowners and own vehicles and they want to learn how I did things. Yeah, but my show, the niche I kind of, kind of, kind of focus on and concentrate on is homesteading. This is what I like. This is what I enjoy, but I venture off into these other aspects of homesteading and farming, which is home improvement. And I don't plan on making that a key feature in my show, even though those are popular videos. But for the sole purpose of making money, that's not why I'm making my show. That's not what my videos are about. It's about me enjoying myself and also presenting a good uh, sound um, how-tos or how I'm doing it 
on uh, the farming aspect, gardening, raising livestock, enjoying babies. <laughs> yeah, they're adorable. So the aspect of how much money I'm making now with 50,000 subscribers, right now it's roughly a little more than $800 a month. Now I've made more. For instance, when my uh, when my one how a poor man could buy cheap property. Well, that video really gets uh, momentum going and it gets really viral. I've made upwards of one to two thousand dollars in a month just on that video, but it's not every month. It's hit and miss. It doesn't last. It tapers down, but those still are my top performing vid videos. I always make uh, upwards of two, three, four hundred dollars per video on a few, just a few selected videos that I can count on one hand. So I am making enough every month right now to pay for the monthly payments on the land. That's all I owe right now. The homeowner's insurance and the property taxes. So collectively YouTube is uh, giving me enough revenue right now to be able to pay for my land, homeowner's insurance, and property taxes. So that's just my choices I make as far as my content goes for my channel and maintaining my integrity, my honesty, keeping it apolitical and a-religious, and just, just try to keep it uh, some sense of normalcy. So there's something for everybody here. Uh, on my farm. I just uh, you know, want, want everybody to be comfortable when they come and enjoy the farm life uh, and my life that my wife and I are uh, carving out here in the Cascade Mountains of the Pacific Northwest. So now you know with 50,000 subscribers how much money I can make upwards of a month. Now, it does fluctuate for me. It's anywhere from five to $800, $900 right now. But the channel's growth goes up uh, in steps. It just keeps climbing and I keep getting more in steps. Just because I have 50,000 subscribers doesn't mean I'm gonna get a lot more money next month I may only make $400, we'll see. But it depends on <clears throat> the quality of content that appeals to my viewer. And that's what I'm striving for and struggling for to uh, bring you guys good, solid, honest content on this channel. Sometimes <clears throat> I will uh, be a little kooky, a little nutty, nutty, a little off stream, but you're going to see the real me because I'm, I'm being transparent with you guys. Well, <clears throat> I, I hope I was thorough enough with uh, the explanation and overview of... Uh, how much money I make with uh, 50,000 subscribers. Uh, I knew that I know that this show tends to be a little chatty, but that's okay because there's folks who ask a lot of questions in, in the comments and I'm really trying hard to be able to give answers so you don't have to ask them in the content of the uh, show itself. So. Hopefully this helps everybody, including new upcoming uh, YouTubers. Well, 
Well, now I gotta go check on the eggs in my incubators, water my plants, and uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to do a lot of work in here this week. Uh, when I get some time off from work and also getting ready for a big in-house renovation. Stay tuned for that video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and then click that bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Another thing you can do is click that like button. Click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms helps us out. Also, uh, yeah, leave a comment. I enjoy reading your comments and your compliments and your tips. Oh, I really enjoy your tips. You guys have helped me out so much. Yes, please be uh, safe and always be kind. We'll see you in the next episode, okay? Bye-bye now.